So I'm going to start by prepping my skin with some MAC Fix Plus and just spritzing that all over my face. And then I'm going to prime and fill in my pores using Benefit's Professional. This is amazing for filling in like any bumps or smoothing them out kind of thing and filling in your pores. Then for foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm in the shade Y245 and I'm just using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to press this into press press this into my skin. Then for cream contouring, I'm using a NYX cream foundation stick. So I'm just applying it all around the areas where I would normally contour. So my cheekbones, my hairline, my temples, down my nose, and then a little bit um, under my bottom lip and my chin. And then to blend all of that out, I'm just using the same brush I used for my foundation. Moving on to the eyes, I'm priming using MAC Painterly Paint Pot, so just applying that all over my lids. And I do apologize for the brains not being in focus. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened, but I'm dipping into the Morphe 35P palette. I'm using the Bone shade first and applying that all over the lid. Then I'm going in with this really light toned brown color and I'm going to use this as a transition shade. So just buffing this all through the crease. Then I'm taking this little bit darker toned brown shade and I'm just using that through the crease again. This is a little bit more precise than the last color but still it's kind of messy and just buffing it all through the crease and bringing it right into the inner corners of the eyes. Then I'm taking this darker, sort of cool tone brown and I'm using my MAC 217 brush to buff this into the outer corner. So I'm mainly focusing it in that outer V section and then slowly bringing it into the crease once there's a little bit less product on the brush. Then I'm taking this dark plummy aubergine shade which is so beautiful. I'm using the same 217 brush and I'm just doing the same kind of thing except I am bringing this in a little bit heavier into the outer corner so buffing it in a little bit more. Then I'm taking the black shade from the palette and I'm going to use this little Sigma blending brush. This brush is amazing for preciseness. And I'm using this in the outer V section and then I do bring this through the crease but I keep it very precise obviously because it's such a small brush it's going to stay precise. So just really focusing that into the crease and the outer corner. Then I'm just going back in with that 217 brush and blending the edges out. Next I'm taking a cream shadow from Maybelline, um, I'll have what the name is listed down below but I'm just using a synthetic flat brush to apply this onto the lid and this is just going to act as a darker base for the eyeshadows to stick to. And I'm taking this beautiful purple shade which ultimately you don't really need because we're going to cover it up with glitter anyway but that's okay, you can see how pretty this shade is and yeah, if you're not going to cover it with glitter, this is how it would look, I guess. And then once again, I'm just blending those edges with the 217 brush to make sure everything's nice and seamless. And then I'm going back in with some more of the black shade. And I'm just using that little Sigma brush once again and just building up the darkness and the depth in the outer corner. And then through the crease once again. Then I'm just taking this light bone shade color once again, I just said that odd, but I'm going to use that on a little blending brush just to make sure that the brow bone is nice and light and just make sure that the colors don't come up too high. Then I'm taking my glitter, it's a Mayron Paradise glitter and I'm just using some glitter glue and pressing it all over the lids. And then going in with my gel liner, this one is by Sigma and it is their Wicked Black Gel Liner. So I'm just using an Eco Tools angled brush to create a nice wing 
and I really like how the wing looked with the glitter eye. I think it really went together nicely. So I'm curling my lashes and applying a coat of Maybelline uh, mascara. I can't spit my words out. And then applying some House of Lashes falsies. Now back onto the skin, I'm applying my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm just blending that underneath my eyes. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer because it's a little bit darker and I wanted to see how this one went on my face, I guess. And I'm just blending that out with the same sculpting brush. Then to set all those concealed areas, I'm using an Inglot powder. I'll have the name listed down below. It's just out of their freedom system kind of thing where you pick your own colors. So I'm setting all those areas and then applying some underneath my cream contour. And then I'm going in with another shade. It's a nice cool tone contour. And I'm using a Sigma contouring brush to carve out my cheekbones. And then going in with the bronzer shade that I've got and just bronzing over the top and then bronzing up around my hairline and my temples and that kind of thing. Then I'm taking one of the blushes from the palette I've made and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it back towards my hairline. And then I'm taking one of the highlight shades I've got in the palette and just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones and my cupid's bow, my nose and above my arches of my eyebrows. And then I just take my concealer brush I use just to tidy up the edges and make sure it's not too much of a stark line. And then again, I'm just setting my face with the Fix Plus spray to make sure all the powders are nice and, you know, still creamy kind of. Then I'm using my Rimmel Addiction Lip Liner, which is my favorite lip liner, and applying some lipstick. This is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Skimpy. Then to finish off the eyes, I'm taking the deep purple shade once again and buffing that all underneath my lower lash line. And then going in with the black once again and I'm taking a little pencil brush and just buffing this really closely to that lower lash line and just making sure that my lashes look nice and thick. And then I'm taking the shimmery highlight shade from the palette and just highlighting my inner corners. And then to finish off, I'm taking that beautiful purple shimmery shade once again and just using that on a little smudger brush on the lower lash line just to tie the purple in a little bit more. And then to finish off, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs, I think they're called Remarkable gel pencil liners and I'm just using this purple shade and lining my waterline and then finishing off with some lower lash mascara. So that completes the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video.